Hey, what's going on out there, gym owners? Hope everybody's having a great week, crushing your goals, making shit happen. Okay, so I wanna talk a little bit about marketing. I had a great call with one of our uh, mastermind members yesterday who's, you know, kind of revamping their entire marketing process, outlining their uh, uh, marketing plan for the entire year, creating a calendar, you know, events, Facebook ads, you know, email, you know, centric post, uh, uh, marketing. And, you know, when I started speaking to him about like what he was doing, you know, before, just as soon as we started working together, it's like, what are you doing next month? It's like, oh, well, I have this one thing. Or like, what are you doing in June? Oh, I don't really know yet. And that's what I find from a lot of gym owners. It's like, you know, they're, they're focusing on, you know, oh, I'm just posting on social media and I'm just getting things by word of mouth and, and referrals, right? And, and, you know, I've said it a million times here and in a lot of writings that I've done on our emails and that's, you know, referrals are only something that you can really truly rely on if you have a referral system and they're built into your marketing calendar and they're one piece of, of you know, the marketing glove, if you will, that, you know, one, one branch of your marketing tree, right? And, and, but there are many others. And the reality is, is that you need to have several different things going at all times. So for good marketing, you want to diversify your, uh, y your streams and, and the way in which you capture leads. Okay. So let's get, let's, an, an example might be social media is one of them. Okay. So either running social media ads or consciously posting daily content um, with call to actions on your social media. Now, we've recently found that like, we've been running ads and this is the first time, first year we've ever been like really paying for ads. And I would say like, they're, working for, they're working for specific sales. They're not working great for just evergreen, you know, spending three, four, 500 a month to just trickle people in. There has to be an action offer. It usually has to be something that's short term or a very low barrier price, but to just like on roll people to memberships from an ad, not really happening. So, you know, I'm doing just as well with my own organic post, call to action centric posts, like come join our team, you know, sign up now for a free trial, things like that. And you can do those yourself for free, right? And still have a lot of the great results or boost them for a couple bucks so that they get some more notoriety. But you probably don't, you know, most, most gyms are not in the place where they need to be spending four, five, six hundred dollars a month on, um, on Facebook ads unless you're gonna run a specific event like a six-week transformation or a flash sale on a, let's call it like on a 30-day trial, you're gonna run a $50, 30-day trial or something like that, then you might wanna put two, $300 into Facebook ads for like a four, five-day period and really blast the community. Um, and, and that will have some better results, but just letting it run indefinitely, we're not seeing that great. So that's one, social media. So it's either organic posting on your own, quality content with call to actions, directing people as to how to contact you. Remember to market to the pain points. Like, you know, uh, if it's athletes, it's, you know, why are you slow? It's, you know, how to get faster, how to, how to play better this season, you know, you know, put on 10 pounds of muscle, things like that, right? Key phrases that like athletes and kids might be wanting to see, right? And their parents too, right? If it's, if it's females, it's, you know, uh, you know, getting that, you know, pre-baby body back. It's, you know, training with no pain, training in a comfortable and, and, and courteous environment, things like that, right? So all those types of things and you market to those points and then have a call to action, contact us now for your, you know, free evaluation or something along those lines, right? Then there's email marketing. Email marketing, in my opinion, is our number one form of marketing. That's how we do the most marketing. That's where we get the most lead generation, um, especially um, when it comes to our athletes because we communicate a lot with the parents and we put out a lot of great internal content on, you know, what we do in the gym, spotlighting athletes, spotlighting our performance training, spotlighting our testing procedures and things like that. So really building the value to the families and, and athletes that we train in terms of, you know, showcasing our expertise and the success that our athletes have had. And, and that, you know, builds a, you know, a internal referral machine and creates call to action. Okay, so that's email marketing. 
And again, you can, you, you can, you can, your email marketing and some of your Facebook marketing should add up and this is, or should line up. And this is why having a marketing calendar is super important. So let's say it's fall and you're getting ready for back to school and possibly even like fall training, right? For athletes, right? So now I'm gonna have, you know, emails, social media posts, all directing people to the same type of thing. They could be different. You know, you could take a, a great article that you wrote and chop it up into a whole bunch of social media posts, but everything's directing to one call to action, like, you know, athlete enrollment for full training, something like that. So like our winter sport athletes, you know, preseason training starts in September, October, whatever it is, you know, and then go from there. So that's email. So you got social media, you got email, and then what about belly to belly? What about getting out in your community? What about introducing yourself to business owners? What about a business of the month? What about going to a health fair? Talking to, uh, what about doing, you know, a a job fair or, or a career day at the local schools and things like that? Uh, what about going out to sporting events? If you train athletes, you need to be present at sporting events. That's just, you know, a kind of par for the course you need to you know get out to football games basketball games wrestling matches and things like that we've gone to thousands over the last you know decade and uh, and we still continue to go to a lot of them right and, and that's a big part of our marketing is being seen being able to talk to parents being able to seek athletes that we have and then meet their parents and then their parents introduce us to their friends while we're there oh this is joe and dan they you know they've been training my son for years they're great varsity house you got to go check these guys out and my card come on come call me we'll love to meet your kids that type of thing right so we get a lot of business that way belly to belly uh, uh and and getting out in the community and community outreach is another one you know you have you have print ads you know people say print is dead but print is only dead if you use it wrong right so so getting a getting a getting a newspaper to do a story about your gym getting a newspaper to do a story about a success in your gym um you know running a local ad in a specific you know uh, uh you know like magazine that's local specific to you know if they have a health issue or something like that it's not that they don't work at all it's just that you, your expectation can't be that you're going to get thousands and thousands of leads it's just one more branch of your marketing tree so you know again that's you know email marketing social media marketing right belly to belly live in-person sales and marketing right you could you could have Google you know working for you obviously SEO and all that's gonna drive you know traffic to your local um, you know gym and if your SEO is strong uh, that's gonna that's gonna you know organic search is gonna help find your gym a little bit better and things like that it's really important that you kind of look into those things as you start to grow but I always say like you know everybody I ask in the gym business says well my number one is referrals well then if referrals is the number one and you want to get more highly qualified leads that are similar to the people that you have and like already, right? Well, then build in specific referral campaigns throughout the year that are going to attract those people uh, uh, with a call to action in a specific time frame, so that they know exactly when and how to refer. So, like a bring a friend workout. Hey, gang, we're having a bring a friend for workout on Saturday. April, uh, May 4th, we are actually, and you know, here's a great opportunity to bring a friend and see what we do, right? A gift of fitness, something we had a huge success with last year, right? Um, and, and send out a, a, a free 30 day trial to every single client that we have to give to a friend, family member, or co worker around the holidays to you know make them look like a hero and be like, hey man, here's a great month of training, go try this place out, it's fantastic, I love it, right? Have a, we do August is for amigos, right? $100 off our 30 day trial, $100 cash to the referee, things like that. So you, you could get really creative with, you could run, run a referral competition, right? And and give away prizes, right? And, and things like that. So the, 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 but again, if it's not on the calendar and it's not planned out in advance, right? And you can't sit down in, in November and say, okay, this is what we're doing for the next year, right? Start planning your calendar in November, December and have the entire year laid out. Key initiatives, partnerships, joint ventures, right speaking engagements emails email marketing you know direction social media marketing direction get it all lined out ahead of time that way all you have to do is execute and you can get ahead of the game and you're not just posting nonsense you're actually marketing and not reactive posting there's a very big difference social media is only one tool it is not all the tools and as i see it now it's starting to fade a little bit get your marketing tree lined up wear that glove make it happen